guys, how are you doing today? I am Pam, and if this is the first time you're coming to the channel, welcome, 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 welcome. Over here, we like to talk about bougie makeup and bougie fragrances. Bougie fragrances and bougie makeup. Yes, I said that twice because really, it really, really, really bears repeating. <laughs> My dears, thank you so very much for clicking on that button and walking on in. And you heard me, right? You heard me say welcome to the Pam Fam. Yes, that means I now consider you family. And that being said, come on in. I'm a little sick, but this is virtual, so it's okay to hug. All right? So hug up. Yay! <laughs> thank you very much for hanging out with me today. I really appreciate you. So you saw the title of the video, so it's basically about fragrances that are uplifting or when I'm in a down mood or I'm not feeling so well that I tend to reach for because they perk me up, okay? So I have a few that I picked out here and if you're interested to see which ones I picked out, please stay tuned. Welcome back. Welcome back. Thank you so very much for staying and not walking out the door, okay? So I will be quick about it. Now I have quite a few of a selection here, but I think that, I think we can go through these quickly. What I'll do is I will put the notes up on the side. I won't go into the notes. I'm just going to name the fragrances, tell you how they make me feel, and then I'll put the notes up so that you can see the scent story if it's something that you might be interested in, okay? All right, so. The first one I'm going to start off with is one that I talked about on my channel quite a bit, and that, my dear, is Dahlia Devin. This is the Eau de Toilette version. It has a clear cap right here. That's how you can tell the Eau de Toilette from the Eau de Parfum. The Eau de Parfum has a, like a milky white type color cover cap, right? This has a nice citrus fragrance to it. Nice, like the top notes is citrusy. I'll put the notes up again on the side right here for you, but it uplifts me. It's a great fragrance for me during the summer. I wear it all throughout the year, to be honest with you, but it's one fragrance. Once I open this cap up and I sniff it, I smile. It has a slight creamy effect to it as well, and that's one of the reasons that I actually like it. That's why it's comforting for me, and that is Dali Devin or the Toilette. The next fragrance is one that I reach for quite regularly throughout the year, actually. Again, throughout the year, all seasons. And that is Narciso Rodriguez Poudre. Guys, this fragrance I absolutely love. I've talked about it on numerous, numerous occasions because this is, my, I think this is my first Narciso Rodriguez that I purchased from all my collection. This was the first one. And I have one backup of this one. So when this one goes, because I can't really tell where it's at, but when this one goes, I have a backup. This is sweet. It is musky. No one does musk like Narciso Rodriguez in my but opinion. In my collection, this is king when it comes to musky, powdery, sweet scents that are extremely comforting and uplifting at the same time. And that is Narciso Rodriguez Poudre. Another fragrance that I've talked about quite a bit, quite extensively actually on this channel. <laughs> I'm sorry guys, I know you guys are probably tired of me talking about this, but this is Mon Grelon Floral by Grelon. Guys, the lavender, the florals in here, simply beautiful, okay? Simply, simply beautiful. The notes are going to be up here for you. If you have never smelled Mon Grelon or you go, why are people so crazy about Mon Grelon? I'll tell you, this transports me. It's a scent that it elevates my mood immediately. Of all of the flankers, I only have three. I have the Eau de Toilette, I have the Eau de Parfum, and I have the Floral. And I love all three of them. This one here, that, oh, that lavender, yes. Love, 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 and that is Guerlain Floral. Mon Guerlain Floral. The fragrance that's new to my collection, and I have to thank Sheracy Lewis for this, um, <clears throat> because she's the one that got me on the Chanel train, okay? Hook, line, and sinker. And that is Chance by Chanel Autandre. Guys, this is nice and fruity. It has a slight effervescent feel to it. Whenever I wear it, I am happy. It transports me. It has also like an effervescent, fruity, watermelony, I think papaya, I think tropical a little bit. Yep, I do. I get a little bit of tropical with this. And I absolutely love this. I have all of the Chance line, but this happens to be my favorite, the Autantre. Now, sometimes I like to feel a little playful, and this one is absolutely new to my collection. I only got this during the fall of 2020, and this is Mancera's Wild Candy. The notes are going to be up on the screen for you to take a look at. This, guys, is a sweet 
balm. Wild candy is a sweet balm. You see how the bottle looks like you bite into candy like a hard candy and it crunches on your teeth, you know, and it leaves that residue on your teeth and you're sucking off of it. Look, my mouth is watering right now. I'm thinking candy. Yeah. <laughs> But this, guys, is nice and sweet. And when I say sweet, I mean sweet. It's sweet on the nozzle. It's sweet when it hits your skin. It is absolutely one of the sweetest fragrances I have in my collection, but not cloying. It does not claw me out. It doesn't make me feel choked out. It actually makes me feel happy, childish a little bit, you know, like playful, like that. Now, this fragrance right here is also extremely sexy. Um, so when you wear it, be prepared for people to be... Um, nuzzling on you like your candy <laughs> okay but it's one of the fragrances that makes me smile every time i wear it and that's mancera's wild candy and i really appreciate and love and i have been wearing this now for about three years i used to wear it to work like when i would dress up in my blues um we used to dress up in our blues every month <laughs> every friday and um you know our dress uniform and i used to wear this fragrance and then i'm like oh i started watching fragrance reviews and a lot of people are like yeah it's sexy it's sexy it's sexy so i stopped wearing it to work but i'll tell you it does put me in the mood to be a little you know stand up push my shoulders back a little bit go okay i am here i have arrived but i tell you what i absolutely love this fragrance whenever i spray it if i i feel i do feel sexy but i feel more so empowered if that makes sense so that's c Intense by Giorgio Armani. Another fragrance that gives me that same vibe as C does, but it's newer to my collection. I've only had this for about a year, but I barely used it. And I pulled it out when I was doing my collection, my live, um, I was doing my collection live and I pulled it out. We were doing Givenchy and that's Givenchy, learned to it. Guys, this fragrance right here, I was kind of, uh, ah, why, uh, why wasn't I wearing this? Why not? It's got all the elements of, it, it's, it's comforting, but at the same time, it's sexy. It's a fragrance that you can wear with a gown. It's a fragrance you can wear with a suit. It's a fragrance you can wear with jeans and a t-shirt. A nice t-shirt is a fragrance you can wear with sweaters and boots. It's an all-rounder. And I'm like, why was I holding on to this? But this right here is Givenchy L'Antedit. I definitely, definitely am going to be using a lot more of this throughout 2021 beautiful bottle now when I want to feel playful guys straight up the bat playful besides uh, this right here the candy the wild candy I pull this bad boy out right here and this is <laughs> Dior's poison girl guys this this fragrance first of all I love the bottle I think it's extremely cute and I think the fragrance is extremely cute it has that vibe of the the poison you know a little bit of um, the, the doughy <clears throat> play doughy type of thing but guys oh my gosh i love this fragrance it's flirty it's beautiful it's a fragrance that um i find myself smiling when i sniff it so if i spray it on myself it dissipates within about two or three hours but when i go to put some more on to layer it on i tell you what i smile again i really enjoy playing with it and i mean that playing with it i feel very cute if i dare say so myself when I wear a Dior Poison Girl. So that makes me feel better when I'm feeling like a bum, like not in a good mood. So my next <laughs> fragrance, guys, when I want power moves, and I mean power moves, power moves, whether it's going out, power moves, whether it's going to a meeting, things of that nature, um, I pull this out. And this is Passion of L'Amour by the House of Siage. Guys, I absolutely, you know that. I love the House of Siage. I do. But let me tell you something. One of the things that I don't compartmentalize fragrances, I try not to. And this fragrance right here, everyone was talking about wearing it on a date, wearing it out, you know, date night, that type of stuff. Guys, I, I stopped that. I stopped doing that whatsoever. I pulled this out the other day, opened it, sniffed it, sprayed it, and I was feeling really good. I was like, I'm putting the notes up here for you, but one of the things that I really, really, really enjoy about this fragrance is the fact that it can transport you. It will make you push your shoulders back. It will make you push your chest up. It will make you tilt your head up. This is what Pasha Lillamore does for me when I wear it. It is a very confident fragrance. It's a, it's a fragrance that I think that if you're interested in thinking about going, yes, trying ouds, 
It's a fragrance that has a little bit of oud in it. It will bring you into the oud in a nice, sophisticated, gentle way. It's not harsh. It's not overly smoky. It's not overly cloying. It's not overly choking. It's none of that. It's just perfectly well blended. And can we get a minute for the bottle? Can we get a minute for the presentation? Okay, please. All right, check this out. Check that out. The green Swarovski crystals, 150, I think I clicked one of them off of them. Yeah, 158 Swarovski crystals, all right? Hand placed, hand placed, hand encrusted, hand, individually. Oh yes, yes, okay? Nicole did that, okay? So hand placed Swarovski crystals on it, as well as on the side. The color of the, color of the crystals correspond very well with the bottom of the bottle, right? And so then it comes up and it just floors out. So it just looks so beautiful, 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 beautiful. And it matches my ring. <laughs> A beautiful, beautiful fragrance, beautiful, beautiful bottle, 20 to 30% fragrant oil in all of the House of Siage fragrances. Can't ask for better than that. Okay. Again, this is a House of Siage. Passion a little more when I want to feel a little powerful, a little more, um, you know, on my game. I pull this fragrance out and it transports me, especially when I'm having really rough days. So the last one I have that I, I love this fragrance too. This is another House of Siage, okay? And this is Emerald Rain. This is my number two out of all the uh, House of Siage fragrances I have. This is my number two. This takes me back to the 80s and 90s. Oh, I love it. The nutmeg, cardamom, vanilla, the spices. But guys, absolutely beautiful fragrance on my skin. Now in the fragrance community, I have heard some polarizing comments about the Emerald Rain. Some people think it smells old, and dusty. I guess I'm old and dusty. <laughs> But I absolutely love this fragrance and I love mixing it. It lifts some of the other fragrances, designer fragrances that I have, you know, but I love this. This is one of the ones that when I smelled it in this, it, I, I was like, I have to have this. And I am so glad that I have these things in my collection. As you know, the House of Siage is my favorite fragrance line right now. So it might be for the next decade. <laughs> But <laughs> but I absolutely love this fragrance. Again, this is Emerald Rain. This is a fragrance kind of like Passion a little more. If I want to feel on top of my game, I hear I'm stuffy right now. So this is one of the fragrances that I will definitely pull out when I want to feel really good, smell really good, have people walking behind me, you know, just in a Target or the Walmart. Well, I don't really go to Walmart that much, but you know what I mean. Please follow me. I smell good. <laughs> so that is the House of Siage. Emerald Rain. Gosh, she's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful amber. Oh my gosh, the Amber Swarovski crystal set this off. I love it. Absolutely love so, it. Guys, you know, I've been sharing with you what I wear on my lips, and today I am wearing this is by MAC, and this is Rambunctious. It is a beautiful gloss. This is normally what I wear throughout the winter. I tend to wear a lot more glosses during the winter. It's a beautiful orange color. Okay, so there it is. Okay. And it, as you can see, when you put it on your lip, it doesn't, it's not stark. So it sort of blends out. And that's one of the things I like about MAC glosses. When you put it on, for me anyways, these type of like lipstick type glosses, it blends out. It doesn't stay there. It doesn't always get on my teeth and stuff like that. So that's why I enjoy um, MAC glosses during the winter, especially. And it keeps my lips moisturized. So my dears, thank you so very much for joining me today. I really appreciate you taking the time out of your busy schedule to spend a few minutes with me and hear what fragrances I like wearing that pulls me out of a rut or uh, whether it's depression or whether I'm just physically not well or whether it's a combination of both, right? And perhaps you have some of these in your collection as well and you may want to pull them out and play with them a little bit and see if it, you know, it helps elevate your mood. Fragrance to me transports me. It really, really does. If I'm feeling really bad, all I got to do is go take a shower and spray some fragrance on and I am feeling absolutely fantastic. Well, no, that's not true. I just... It, it lifts my mood. <laughs> it does. It truly, truly does. 
So thank you again for joining me. So if you have not subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. If this is the type of content that you like, we do fragrance, we do makeup for people who have, you know, hooded eyes and stuff like that. Very simple techniques that I use. If you think this is something that you might be interested in, please go ahead and click on that button, subscribe, and then hit the notification bell so that you'll know every single time I upload. I do a lot of so right about now, you should be seeing some end cards popping up around me or below me. Please be sure to click on one of those. It'll either take you directly to a playlist or a video that I or YouTube has chosen for you, depending upon what your likes are. And then you will see some artwork. If you click on that artwork, it will take you directly to my channel so you can subscribe. Click on one of those and I will see you in the next video. Bye.